Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Thursday, the 12th of May. As we come together, let us reflect upon the day that has been and let us pray for one another. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, sovereign God, the King and the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to, to life and triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed, and radiant light is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The choirs of New Jerusalem, your sweetest notes employ, the paschal victory to him in strains of holy joy, how Judah's lion burst his chains and crushed the serpent's head, and brought with him from death's domain the long imprisoned dead. Triumph in his glory now, his scepter ruleth all. Earth, heaven, and hell before him bow, and at his footstool fall. While joyful thus his praise we sing, his mercy we implore, into his palace bright to bring and keep us evermore. All glory to the Father be, all glory to the Son, all glory, Holy Ghost, to thee, while endless ages run. Alleluia. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 81. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Sing merrily to God our strength. Shout for joy to the God of Jacob. Take up the song and, shout and sound the timbrel, the tuneful lyre with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, as, or, as at the full moon upon our solemn feast day. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob, the charge he laid on the people of Joseph when they came out of the land of Egypt. I heard a voice I did not know that said, I eased their shoulder from their burden, their hands were set free from bearing the load. You called upon me in trouble and I delivered you. I answered you with the secret place of, th of thunder and proved you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O oh my people, and I will admonish you. O oh Israel, you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God amongst you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and you, will, and you shall fill it. But my people would not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I them away in the stubbornness of their hearts, and let them walk after their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me. Oh, that Israel would walk in my ways. That I should soon put down the, their enemies, and turn my hand against their adversaries. Those who hate the Lord will be humbled before him, and their punishment would last for ever. But Israel would I, but Israel would I feed with the finest wheat. And with honey from the rock would I satisfy them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Our second psalm for the evening is Psalm 85. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Lord, you were gracious in your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the offence of your people and covered all, your, all their sins. You laid aside all your fury, and turned from your wrathful indignation. Restore us again, O God our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God will say. For he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful, that they turn not again to folly. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all that is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him, and direct his steps in the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Our Old Testament reads a continuation of the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verses 8 to the end of the land. 
keep then this entire commandment that I am commanding you today, so that you may have the strength to go in and occupy the land that you are crossing over to occupy, so that you may live long in the land that the Lord swore to your ancestors to give them and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land that you are about to enter to occupy is not like the land of Egypt, from which you had come, where you sowed your seed and irrigated by foot like a vegetable garden. But the land you are crossing over to occupy is a land of hills and valleys, watered by rain from the sky, a land where the Lord your God looks after. The eye of the Lord your God is upon it always, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. If you will only heed his every commandment that I am commanding you today, love the Lord your God, and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, then he will give the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the late rain, and you will gather in your grain, your wine and your oil, and you will give grass to your fields for your livestock, and you will eat your fill. Take care, or you will be seduced into turning away, serving other gods and worshipping them. For then the anger of the Lord will be kindled against you, and he will shut up the heavens, so that there will be no rain, and the land will yield no fruit. Then you will perish quickly from the, la uh, the good land that the Lord is giving you. You will put these words of mine in your heart and soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and fix them as an emblem on your forehead. Teach them to your children. Talk about them when they are at home, and when you are away, and when you lie down, and when you rise. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, so your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land that the Lord swore to the ancestors to give them, as long as the heavens are above the earth. If you will diligently observe this entire commandment that I am commanding you, loving the Lord your God, walking in all his ways and holding fast to him, then the Lord will drive out these nations before you, and you will dispossess nations larger and mightier than yourselves. Every place on which you set foot shall be yours. Your territory shall ex um, extend from the wilderness to the Lebanon, and from the river, the river Euphrates, to the western sea. No one will be able to stand against you. The Lord your God will put the fear and dread of you on the, all the land on which you set foot, as he promised you. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today, and the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn away, uh, turn from that way that I am commanding you today, to follow other gods that you have not known. When the Lord your God has brought you into the land that you are entering to occupy, you shall set the blessing on Mount Je um, Jezma and the curse on Mount Elba. You are, as you know, they are beyond the Jordan, some distance to the west, so in the land of the Canaanites who live in Arabah, opposite Gilgal, beside the oak of Morath. When they, you, you cross the Jordan go, to go in to occupy the land that the Lord your God is giving you, and when you occupy it and live in it, you must diligently observe all the statutes and ordinances I am setting before you today. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord God and, of, and, and the Lord, be, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born a new light to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You are ransomed from the futile ways of, our, of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. <clears throat> through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Our New Testament reading is a continuation of Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 15 to the end of the chapter. Be careful, then, how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise making the most of the time, because the days of are evil. Do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, or that, uh, for that is debauchery. Be filled with the Spirit. As you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among them, uh, yourselves, singing and making melodies to the Lord in your heart, giving thanks to, the, uh, to God the Father at all times, and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands, as you are to God. Uh, for the husband is the head of the wife, just as Christ is the head of the church, the body of which, is the, is, uh, which he is the saviour. Just as the church is subject to Christ, so a wife ought to be in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and mm -hmm. gave himself mm -hmm. up to her, in order to make her holy by cleansing her with the washing of water by the word, 
as um, so as to the presence of the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or anything of the kind. Yes, so that she may be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as they do their own bodies. He who loves his wife gives himself. No one ever hates his own body, but he nourishes and tenderly cares for it, just as Christ does for the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a great mystery, and I am applying it to Christ and to the church. Each of you, however, should love his wife as himself, and a wife should respect her husband. For the gift of the word. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray and give thanks for the day that has been. As we come towards the evening, give us a quiet night and a restful end, that we may rest well and wake in the morning to sing your praises. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of Ukraine and for the continued fighting. We pray for all who are anxious and worried, for all who are caught in the conflict, for all who are, who are defending their homes. We pray especially for those who are anxious and worried about loved ones, for those who do not know what has happened. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for all who are struggling at this time. We pray for those who are estranged from their families, for those who are struggling with the cost of living, for those who are in work which does not in uh, encourage them, for those who are in need of more nourishment and sustenance. We pray for all who are making use of the food bank, for those who are making use of the full food bank, the fuel bank. We pray that we would have the generosity of spirit to share with, with what we have with those who have not. We pray for those who are worried and anxious for the year ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for all who are struggling with their mental health, for those who struggle to work through the day, for those who struggle to get out of bed. We pray for those who are having the courage to enter therapy, for those who are scared to do so. We pray for those who self-harm, for those in residential mental health care, we pray for all those who are caring for those who they know and who they love, and for those who are working in the mental health profession. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for this benefice and for its churches. We pray for your congregations. We pray that they will grow in knowledge of you, in love of you, in dedication and zeal to you. We pray especially for those who will be gathering for the annual church meeting at St Mary's on Sunday. We pray that you would inspire them to redouble their efforts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. 
We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Peter, Rose, Sarah, Gwenna, Gillian, Brian, Chris, B, and Pamela. We pray too for those who are known to you alone, Lord. We pray for all who are struggling and all who are in need of your calm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who reach the end of their lives and those who recently lost their lives. We pray for all who are grieving, all who are mourning all who have carried the scars of loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Rejoice in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joy of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Quick reminder that this weekend we will have um, 8 a.m. BCP Holy Communion, uh, which will be at St. Mary's. At 9.30 we'll be at St. Thomas's for the fun on Sunday morning, which I believe is a cafe-style church. Uh, but also we'll be at 9.30 at St. Mary's for the main Eucharist, which will also be streamlined. This is different from most third Sundays of month. So it's not at 11 o'clock. It is at 9.30. We go straight after the service. We're going to be having the annual church meeting, um, which I would highly encourage all of you to attend if you are able to. Um, but uh, I hope we'll see some of you over the weekend. And uh, if not, uh, God bless. We'll see you tomorrow, 9 and 5, for morning evening prayer. Uh, and I uh, hope you have a good evening. God bless. Bye-bye.